The CompTIA Security Plus certification is designed to prove that an exam candidate has competency in computer system security, network security, access control, and organizational security. The exam is vendor neutral, which means that the certification does not focus on just one company's products. Instead, the certification objectives range across many technologies, services, hardware, and software. It has great value in the marketplace as an indicator of a prospective employee's skill level, proving to employers that a job seeker has the necessary computer knowledge to complete their tasks with minimal supervision. The Security Plus certification is the culmination of the CompTIA triad, which provides a solid foundation for the more difficult vendor-specific exams. The triad includes A+, Network+, and Security+. Plus. The Security Plus exam covers six security domains, which includes system security, network infrastructure, access control, cryptography, and organizational security. The exam consists of 100 questions in a linear style. This means that you can go backward or forward within the exam, mark items, and change answers if necessary. The exams consist primarily of multiple choice questions but you might see an occasional matching question. CompTIA reserves the right to change the bank of questions while still adhering to the objectives. The tests are administered on a computer within a very easy-to-use program. The majority of the time, you will simply click the letter of the corresponding correct answer. To pass the exam, you must achieve a score of 750 out of 900. This equates roughly to 81% though it is difficult to compute exactly. Many candidates will prepare with practice exams and attempt to score 85% or higher in order to be ready for the real exams. You have a full hour and a half to take each exam. If you finish early, you can and should return to the questions and review your answers. In order to take the exams, you must first register with either Sylvan Prometric or Pearson View have personal identification such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Either registering body's website can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Many examinees find the following topics to be more difficult portions of the exam. Topics such as cryptography, hashing, and PKI prove to be difficult subjects. However, the exam only tests the basics of encryption. It covers a wide variety of encryption subjects but only expects a basic understanding of each. Due to the sheer volume of malicious attacks that can be perpetrated upon an individual computer or on a network, it can be difficult to memorize them all. Extra time is necessary when studying all of the various attacks. Access control models such as discretionary access control, Mandatory access control and role-based access control can be confusing to some. It is important to differentiate between them and spend extra time studying these models. You should also reserve a decent amount of time for studying authentication, as there are many types of authentication, from physical to logical and from local to remote. If you wish to take the Security Plus exam, you should have prior work experience in the computer field including some hands-on networking experience. Optimally, you will already have achieved your CompTIA Network Plus certification. Be sure to review the exam objectives available at the CompTIA website. These detailed objectives not only will list the various topics that may be covered, but also will identify the grading weight of each domain. Using just one study guide might provide you with a narrow view of security. By using various forms of study materials, including books, videos, and practice questions, you will become a more well-rounded examinee and greatly increase your chances of passing the exam. As a starting point, we recommend the CompTIA Security Plus SYO201 CERT Guide by David Prowse. We also recommend the CompTIA Security Plus Exam Cram. For a visual view, we recommend Sean Harris's Video Mentor. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more.
Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our On Certification channel in iTunes. Once you have achieved the Security Plus certification and have completed the CompTIA triad of A+, Network Plus, and Security Plus, you can move on to vendor-specific certifications from Cisco, Microsoft, and others. You can also pursue other vendor-neutral certifications, such as the Certified Wireless Network Administrator and the Certified Information System Security Professional. Good luck! <laughs>